What is going on YouTube? It is Flopfish here and welcome to another little Minecraft video. This time it's actually something I legitly made and finished and it's complete. And so if you can't tell, um posted some stuff on Twitter last night, just a couple screenshots and stuff, and I actually made capture the flag in Minecraft, which to me is pretty stinking cool. Um just the fact that I was able to do this 100% in vanilla and it runs pretty dang flawlessly and there's very little redstone involved and it's just overall it is pretty dang awesome um, so yeah so let's go ahead and let's just start her up for a little bit and let's just go kinda of through a feature run so when you spawn typical stuff half the stuff I picked up from Seth Blink so um, yeah so the spawn thing, um, you spawn uh, and you get teleported into here and then you have three options, you have two different options so you can choose your teams like if you're doing set teams you can have people choose their teams going to blue and red or you can have random which you get teleported into there and it randoms you off and then before you do that though just make sure you press start game so let's go start game and let's go with team red and so we'll go in, we'll teleport um, and then we will drop down um, make sure only one person at a time it's kind of a bit of a bug but oh well and you'll get your stuff and you'll teleport into your little waiting room so after we wait for a while um, we'll actually end up getting teleported and what you get is you get a ender, one ender pearl and you get a, what I like to call them prisoner um, it's a diamond sword with power and sharpness 100 and infinity 1 so pretty much it is a one hit kill um, which is pretty cool uh, this does take advantage of a lot of new features which I like to I'd like to highlight here quickly so let's go game mode 1 um, after a while it will as you can see by the mechanism over here um, it will actually drop in and teleport everyone so just speed up this process a little bit here and let's take you guys out and we will just go over there um, yeah so it's it's long enough so you can have about I think about 16 at least 16 people per side and just by the time it randoms and everything you can get probably a good 32 46 I don't know a lot of people in general up so as we wait here we're waiting to go into battle and you can see it also put me at level 73 and the reason why that is key so now we're teleported in so now we can go and the reason why that is key is because this flag this is the flag spot so the gold represents a flag spot now I cannot get this flag and that is also a prison spot and I cannot release someone from jail um, and that is because it takes advantage of the new comparator feature and the new feature in command blocks that allows them to detect if there's a person of a certain level in a certain range so let's see right here so I got the flag from red I could do that and then if I wanted to free a prisoner um, I could stand on here and it free someone who is killed so just stand on here and it free them but there is no one there so no one could get freed um, kind of kind of some stuff there so anyways pretty much how it works and it's pretty cool actually um, the reason why I did 73 levels it's just it was easy enough it's I think uh, 10,000 XP so you're never gonna get 10,000 XP but what happens when you place a torch down is that it just pretty much activates a circuit of redstone and then yeah so it just sets everything back up and so let's go ahead and let's look at the features really quickly here um, really isn't much we got some nice flag poles there and then we got kind of the spawning features so like I said um, your select team just teleports you over there um, this is kind of the start game feature which features as soon as it starts it just triggers this powered rail which goes down the cobwebs actually let's grab some more uh, just to kind of put the delay back on right uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. You can kind of, if you do download it, you can adjust it um, as you want. But yeah, so that's kind of the starting mechanism. It just gives you a nice little 3, 2, 1 quick countdown and teleports everyone into play that's in their little boxes here. And the reason why I have to have glass on those is because you actually could um, 
could use an ender pearl to teleport if you were smart enough to but now you can't so yeah um, let's go ahead and let's go look down here at the redstone so this is the prisoner side uh, when you die using the one hit kill um, pretty much it's tag when you get touched kind of like capture the flag you know that type of fun stuff you get teleported into here and you're in jail and when you're in jail you can't get out and in order for you to get freed someone has to come and run along and stand on here and they can free you now unlike traditional capture the flag where normally you have to walk the person back or something like that um, this one you can release as many prisoners as you want so if the enemy team is sleeping you can pretty much break free your entire team and so here's the command blocks um, just a comparator and how it works is it tests for people with a, the maximum level they can be is 72 so anyone 72 or below can use it and then it just teleports the person inside the box um, pretty straightforward pretty easy to do uh, like I said same thing same thing over here uh, it uses a comparator and it just tests for the same thing the other ones are others and then let's go ahead and the redstone torch is kind of the cool part right here um, let's go ahead and we can dig in through the back here uh, right here uh, let's see this is clear you can break this one here so what happens when you place the torch is it's pretty cool it's just a piston cycle so it sets off all the command blocks retracts the pistons so it automatically just destroys the flag so then it resets perfectly for a new game and that's pretty much it actually that's all the redstone used um, like I said if you guys enjoy this there will be a download link in the description um, if you want to check it out uh, I will probably be getting a server set up for this pretty dang quickly uh, it is it is a lot of fun and yeah that's pretty much it um, like I said pretty straightforward um, oh, I didn't go over the spawning. Um, the spawning, you get your armor, which does absolutely nothing. Um, it's just to detect what team is which. Um, you get one ender pearl. You set your spawn point and stuff. And then, uh, so let's say, let's say I am team red. Let's go ahead and let's clear my inventory here. Uh, I'll jump down, and then I'll get all my stuff. I'll have time to put all my caps and stuff on and get everything the way I want it to and then when it's ready to go we will be teleported in just pretend we're teleported um, and then so yeah we can pretty much do whatever we want say we teleport over to here and we die um, oh and first off to show you how strong the swords are let's spawn spawn a villager and yeah one hit killed a villager pretty sure it'll one hit kill anyone um, Actually, let's spawn, let's spawn a creeper. I don't know what has more health, a creeper or a villager. I'm guessing, I'm guessing a, yeah, never mind, I'm on peaceful. I'm a genius, don't worry. Um, so let's say I died. And so it's gonna, it's gonna kill me. Um, I'm gonna die and I'm going to respawn. Then I'm gonna get teleported into jail. And if someone came along and rescued me, uh, let's go ahead and let's pretend I got rescued. Uh, let's pick up this torch. Let's don't need it there. Let's put this down. And so we're going to teleport there. It's going to give me another ender pearl and it's just going to teleport me back. Pretty straightforward. That's all there is to it. Um, like I said, works the same for both sides. Pretty cool. Uh, it is pretty fun. I've been playing practicing well not practicing just kind of building it and running around and honestly it's something different um, but anyways guys like I said links in the description where to download it uh, if you guys make a video out of it or put it on a server let me know I'll come and check it out and stuff like that um, if you'd enjoyed it take it eat or leave a rating uh, share it around guys once again I'm pretty happy with the way this came out uh, I will be working on it, getting different maps in, because I do want something other than just a plain flat field. But seeing as how I just wanted to get this out so you guys can see it and get the concept of it, um, 
I figured his pretty good. It's just like traditional capture the flag. I'll work on more advanced versions, kind of like first person shooters and stuff like that. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. But anyways, guys, as always, take it easy. Peace out and see ya.